What's going on everybody? Happy Saturday, May 20th, 2023. This is like episode 66, I believe. I ended up scratching all of yesterday's footage. I decided that like there was so much going on and the vlog was so like choppy that I, there wasn't any like clear direction or purpose. We did have our launch. We did really good with it. Um, kind of like typical, I want to say, um, in club sales, um, a few online sales. So I'm sure that it's going to keep rolling in over the next couple of weeks. And I'm super excited to be bringing you guys like really like products that I'm proud of um, and that we've worked super hard for. So got that done yesterday and then had a little bit of a dinner last night, hung out with some friends. And then today I actually already worked out and I know that I've been keeping you guys updated about my back injury, feeling about 80% back to full strength. So I ended up working up to a 295 front squat today. And then I also deadlifted for the first time. So I worked up to 405 by three and a 455 single. No like whip, tight core, perfect form. Felt really good. So I just worked with a client and then I am going to do a little upper body workout and then get on with the day. It's gonna be a really busy day today. So with that being said, today's video topic, I'm gonna to work out first and then I wanna do a rant on like life. And this came to me this morning. We were listening to a motivational speech and I sent it to Benny the Jet, a member here. Um, and I said like, bro, you're really gonna fuck with this like one part of the speech and I need you to like skip to it, listen to it. And yeah, so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to find out what that's all about. But it was life changing for me. It's always been life changing and today just completed it. So stick around. <laughs> It's very quiet in your gym today. Does Rob not want music? Huh? Does our neighbor not want some music? He doesn't want music? No. It's 10 a.m. It's le legally we can play as loud as we want. My music. Exactly. <laughs> There's some fucking weight on that bar. Why is it 22, not 23? Because it was from uh, 2022. 23. What's 23 on? The year Jersey? 2023. Oh, I thought it was just like Jordan. Nah, it's not like for Jordan or for a number. So, 2022, man. The year this company was established. Except we dropped the athletics, the legacy company. <laughs> Shoulder press, a tricep push down, and a bicep curl. That's kind of hot. Nah, I go through it quick, bro. No, I said that's kind of hot. I said that's hot. What? I said that's hot. Yeah. I Bro. How many bitches 
have you had a jet wait in a Jetta one? How many bitches have a Jetta? Uh, How many bitches drive stick? I've never been with a bitch in a Jetta, but I've been with a pretty girl in a Jetta before. Like, how do you feel about that? Now she's dancing. Now she's being weird. I would say, you're coming after. Just skip. I He's not looking for anyone. He doesn't like you, that's what he's. Well, he's I mean, if you came tonight, maybe maybe you could get that internship. Ooh, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. My mom's gonna get a turn. Hey, buddy. You think you're hot shit coming back here? Yeah, I am. You ugly fuck. I'll beat anyone in the fight. I feel like, yo, Mike and You're Chris, sick, right? You're feeling a little sick, right? So is great. Mike and Carm- or not Mike and Carmel. Mike and Chris Smith want to go to Saratoga, but I think we should just stay at your house. After? Yeah, like, I think we should just stay at your house all night. Dude, I don't want people at my house until <sighs> fucking 12 o'clock. I don't want to be at Saratoga until 3 in the morning. That's either. your problem. We were up there last night till like 1 in the morning. And then I had a nightmare. I woke up in the middle of the night. And, yeah. Dude, remember, my mom goes to bed at like 8.30. That's all right, dude. No, she'll go to bed at like 10 tonight. I'll keep her comfy. Sorry, that was me. Oh my God. mom is really attractive. you hold the camera? Yeah. No, I would never do that. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that. I would yeah. never think you're mom. It's going to pay you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's what I did to my first ever employee. I said, how much money do you make? And he told me X. I said, how about I do X plus 50? Uh, Sam? Yeah, a week. He was going to make a... After he's done you? I have three more movements. Chill out, right? Kind of a bitch, not gonna lie. Uh. Uh. Wait, wait, don't get this on the camera. Oh, what is it? You get a lot of good love wearing that around the capital region. What's up, A-Rod? Is this going to, is this, is this your vlog? Ah, it's Chris's. Birthday was amazing. It was so fun. Spent so much time here. Got a protein shake with my mom. Made some content here. The basketball jerseys for the Legacy League. You're at, you know what Carmela's on our team? Are you playing? She's our manager. the games though, right? She's our, she's our manager. You gotta come no, watch. No, we can't do that. It's fun. It'll be, still be people here. The bleachers. We only have men that are, do cheerleading. Every, every Tuesday and Thursday night. Yeah, imagine not getting to like live every day like it's recess. That's silly, my life. Literally my life is recess. Uh, well, not when you get angry. Well, I have to be a big boy sometimes. Yeah, you gotta be the leader? I gotta be Mr. CEO. Leader of the recess group? What's up, hey? What's up, man? Yo, he's ignoring you. Huh? He's ignoring you. He's trying to be the bigger man. Yo, Elijah! He's so annoying you, what? I gotta grab his hair and pull it. You're not him. I am him, bro. You think he's him? Respectfully, who else does what I do? Who else does what I do? How can I not be him? Uh, Brad. Bro, Charmin Ultra Soft. <laughs> Oh, nice. Alright, that's gonna wrap up the upper body workout. A Rod took over, started filming, and yeah, I'm gonna get to my rant later because I feel like now the club's popping. Not a good time for it, so. But it's gonna be interesting. Alright, fam, it's currently like 2 30, and I'm just kind of wrapping up for the day. I wanna get this vlog done. Um, and then I have prom pictures with Connor, and then a little party at Alex's tonight and Mike's last night in town. So I wanna get this wrapped up. But today was one of the most incredible days I've ever had here, hands down. Um, so many people, it was electric, the energy, the family, throwing the football, hanging out, lifting weights, literally exactly what this place was created for, to be chilling all day on a Saturday. And we moved a lot of clothing. I mean, lots of units got moved today. Orders are going out, um, a lot of in-club sales. So I'm super, super thankful that people are loving it, supporting. Buying into Legacy, every time you get something here, anytime money is coming in, it's all going back into making this place a better facility for us, a better home. Um, and I'm really thankful for everyone's support because without it, I couldn't do this stuff. So very thankful, a huge day today. Um, and this morning, well, I ended up like working out twice. Let's see for the day. I worked out, had a client, worked out again, which I got the upper body footage in here. 
Then we went to upstate. Then I came back and was literally just doing like office stuff. But I said in the beginning of the video that I had an idea. And in my first workout, I was talking to Ben Valentine and I was like telling him about this uh, speech that I really thought he would like that I listened to religiously for like two years straight. And it's about like life and creating a legacy. And in the speech, the speaker says, your mom, your dad, your grandfather, they already wrote their story. They already have their legacy. And now it's your turn to write yours. And this is something that for years working for GNC that I listened to. And I remember like going out the door at like three in the morning and I would yell to my mom. I'd say, be sweet, baby, stick. And there's notes like she still has posted notes of me saying like, I love you, stick, all capital letters, stick. And in the speech, they're like relating life and your family and your lineage to a relay race. And he's saying that the first sprinter takes off and he's running as hard as he can, as fast as he can. I always envision my grandfather, he's running, he's running, he's running, and he hands off the stick to my mom. And then my mom runs as hard as she can, as fast as she can, building a legacy, writing a story, and she hands that stick to me. And I knew at like 21, 22, that they were handing that stick to me and it was my turn to create and build my legacy. And now I'm in this process right now where I'm sprinting head on as fast as I can, trying to build something bigger than anyone could ever believe, just so I can yell stick and hand it off to my son, my daughter, my future kids, future family. And I wanna hand them something great that they can run with and take it to a whole nother level. So that's why I work hard right now. And I, I showed this video to Benny this morning, completely changed the game. He was so impacted, chills, and loved literally every second of it. And he goes over to his bag and he gives me a baton right here. So today is a big day because I've been saying stick to my mom for years and years and years and years. And she has no idea what that means. Literally did not know that I was talking about like legacy in a relay race or that speech. So today I called her and I was like, do you still have all those notes that say stick? And she was like, yeah, I got them right here. I was like, all right, great. And then she came in and I was explaining to her the story and then I took the baton and I wrote on it right here. I wrote stick and then I wrote, I don't know you yet, but everything I do is for you with today's date. And my mom wrote, let's see, keep running and have fun. Love mom, XO, with today's date. So my theory and like what I wanna do with this stick is continue to run it for as hard as I can for as long as I can till one day my future kids, who I don't know yet, we'll be able to pass the stick on to them and then they can run with it for as fast as they can, for as far as they can, as long as they can until they hand it to my grandkids and so on. So today starts a legacy of the baton in my family. And I just want you guys to like keep that in mind, any of you viewers, regardless of your age, that you are in this relay race called life and your entire goal is to take your life as far as you can for as long as you can and as hard as you can and when it's all said and done you got to pass that baton on to someone whether it's your kids um a close friend maybe you know maybe i never have kids and it's someone like a connor kisby that i gotta hand that you know baton off to but whoever it is i'm working super hard for the future of not only myself of my family but for the future of all like man mankind and hu humanity so today's you know hit me a little bit different and I hope that this story kind of sits with you different and really makes you think. So love your parents, respect your parents, respect your grandparents, love everyone, and know that you're running for something greater than you. And one day, you're gonna be left with nothing but a legacy. So peace out, fam.